I moved to the suburbs about three or four years ago, and I got into woodworking. And I was talking to a carpenter friend of mine, and he says, woodworking is about two things, cutting and joining. And that got me to understand how simple these things could be when I really had no prior knowledge. I'm going to try to do that for you here. Software development is about two things, gathering information and displaying information. So now from episode one, lesson one, that we have a strong foundation with our core tables set in place, we're going to move on to the gathering of information piece. Now, in the past, I'm guessing if you work in the music business, gathering information looks like this. Send a text message to a manager. Hey, what's your email address? Hey, what's your lawyer's name? Hey, what's your artist's PRO? What's the IPI number? And then they send it to you on your text and you do with, what, with it what you need. And then when you need it again, you either have to go back and ask them again or sort through your text messages or your emails or wherever it is that you had that conversation because there's no central place where these things are kept. What we're going to show you today is a method of having people like managers, um, artists themselves, whomever it may be, submit data one time in such a way that it gets stored in your database and can be then recalled or displayed or otherwise used in the future at any time. And we're gonna use uh, Airtable Forms and we'll do something super easy to start. And then we're gonna grow by the end of this video into using pre-filled forms, which you'll very quickly understand the power of. And then the third step is we're going to implement our first automations, which allows the information from the pre-filled forms to get distributed to the proper place in the database. So here we go. My name is Max. This is Industry Automations. And what we do is we help music industry clients build custom Airtable database to improve their business. Let's dive right in. All right. You recall, this is where we left off. Artists, contacts, organizations, releases, and nodes. Those are our tables. Just to show you quickly what a form looks like, we will open it up like this way. So remember, on the left-hand rail here, you have your views. There's a whole different bunch of types of views. We've worked on grid thus far, but I'm going to now pull up a a form view and we're going to call it artist we'll call it new artist form or something so maybe this is something that you send to an a and r who just signed somebody or if you're using this base to help prospect new artists you can send it to somebody who's prospecting um who's submitting an artist uh, for consideration uh but there you go there's the form Let's just add one field in here uh, to make it a little more uh, robust. And we'll call it Instagram URL. And we can make that a type URL field. So here we have a form. We're going to call this new artist form. In the description, we'll say uh, uh, add your artist to the database. And here are the fields, pretty simple. Name, status, releases, we're not gonna have this here because this is not what we're doing. Nodes, we're not doing that. Um, notes, we're not doing, but we are, uh, yeah, notes we can do, but we are doing Instagram. And then you can change it here. We can say like, um, what is the artist's name as it appears on Spotify? You might want to say something like uh, spelling and punctuation are important 
please submit as it appears on Spotify. And then you can say uh, status, that's pretty self-explanatory. You'll have these options, prospect and conversation are signed. Um, first of all, let's make this required. I like, I like this to show up in the list. Um, we'll have that be required. Uh, no, it's not. And we'll have Instagram URL be required, sure. And then we'll have, nope, not be. So then you have yourself a form, open it up and let's use it. So artist name, we'll call it JZ. We have him signed, let's say. And Instagram is, I don't know, he's ps forward slash instagram.com forward slash j like that and notes i hear this guy is off who knows submit go back to your base and now you see you've got jay-z there with the right information boom basic form now we're gonna do what's called a pre-filled form. So if you want information to be added to the contacts table, but you want it to be automatically associated with the artist, then you need a pre-filled form. And I'll show you why. So contacts, right? We have a band called The Killers. The Killers has an artist named, a performer named Brandon Flowers, okay? So we want Brandon Flowers to be in our base. We want Brandon Flowers to be linked to The Killers as a performer through the nodes table. We want to know what Brandon Flowers, who his manager is, we want to know who the PRO is for this band. We want to know this particular writer's IPI number, their publishing company, their publishing IPI, all these things that you have to know that we sometimes fumble in the music business because it's complicated to keep track of these records. And I'm going to show you this foolproof way. So first let's um, build out some more fields here. Let's do something, let's do it, we'll start simple. So every performer has their own PRO. So we will just, for argument's sake, make it a single line text field. Um, every performer has their own writer IPI number. Let's make that a single line text field. You can also make that a number field. I'm pretty sure there's no alphanumerics in there. Uh, okay. And let's also, yeah, let's keep, let's keep that there. And then we want another field called artist. Now we're not going to link contacts directly to artist because remember, we're using the nodes table. So we're going to give them the opportunity to type their artist name in if it doesn't exist. But if it does exist, then we are going to create, we're going to use automations to create that record in the artist table and then do the linking. So let's just say you're an A&R or you're giving this, capability and functionality directly to management, and they want to make you aware of the a new, a new song that they're working on that they expect to come out at a specific date. So therefore, you want a form in the releases table that is pre-filled with the artist information such that the artist, the manager of the artist, or the A&R for the artist can keep that form link at any time, open it up, add a couple things, and then there will be a record added to the releases table already linked to the artist. Here's how you do it. First, let's think about if we have all the fields that we want for adding a new release. Sure. Artist, 
title, release date. Boom. So we add a form just like we did before and we'll call it add new release. And we want artist, push that to the top, title and release date. We can take away nodes for now. Okay. Now we wanna take this form link right here. So we click share form, copy, and we wanna go to the artist's table. Okay. Now we're gonna open up a new field and we're going to bring the record ID for this artist into the table as a field. So it's a formula field. We're gonna say record ID and you'll see why in a minute. Great, new field. We're gonna call this, we're gonna call this add release form. And this will also be formula, boom. All right, now remember we're pre-filling the form based on some basic, not so basic, but some syntax or some uh, conditions that Airtable provides uh, that you can search and look up and I'll put the link to these conditions and to the instructions on how to do this in the description. But in the meantime, we'll just do it together here. So it's another concatenate function formula where you take the form itself and you make that be the first part of the formula string. Then you do comma, question mark, prefill, underscore, and let's do the first thing, artist, equals, and then this is where we're gonna bring in that record ID. Eh, we could have done it without the field. There you go, we'll have, we can delete that field. We can just bring in the record ID, and let's see where that gets us. Close it off, create. Now watch. I'm clicking the link for John Bon Jovi, just to be sure you guys understand. This link that I brought in there has nothing pre-filled. I would have to check to see what's going on there. But here, now when I click this, John Bon Jovi pre-filled because of the, the way we built that formula. Um, that's it. That's the lesson. I mean, it gets a lot more complicated than that. You can also hide fields and such, but that's the basics. Uh, I think that that can be enough to get you started to understanding what's all possible here. The only other thing I'll show you with regards to a pre-filled form is uh, you can create a button. and We'll call this add release. And we'll say add new release change the style slightly like that and we can we can reference form field uh, you can also have built the whole form field in there if you wanted to but and now it's just a single click it helps you with your design so if you're a a and R and you're in, sorry, I just hid that field, by the way. And you're in the base, then you're like, okay, you know, I know that this thing's coming, you know, for the killers or whatever. You click that, you go, boom, title is called, uh, uh, I forget that name, the song. Oh, John's Town or something like that. Very good song. Okay. Release date. Set it, set it, set it. Samstown. Samstown. And we'll hit submit. And now we go to releases. And you will see there's a new release. Obviously, the information that a production department, for instance, needs is way more robust than this. Um, they need to know who the writers are. They need to know a bunch of stuff. But this is the basics for now with regards to pre filled forms. And then Lastly, now that we kind of understand how these things work, is we will create a 
simple version of an intake. So you have a new artist, you need all their information, a hassle to have to gather it. It's a hassle to have to keep it in a place that everybody can see. And it's a um, hassle to have to spread it around all these different spreadsheets that you guys have. So we're going to do a quick, yeah, maybe not so quick, but we're going to do a um, intake form that's going to have, um, it might have some pre-fills, but it's going to lead to an automation. And this will be your first experience with an Airtable automation. And I'm pretty excited for that. So here we go. Let's just say you had a contacts um, field and you wanted to add, create an intake form where your an artist manager could come in and say who the artist name is, who the uh, what their a bunch of their information is, and then have that stuff go where it needs. So let's add a couple pieces of information. We'll call this um, artist name. And then we'll call this manager first name. We're going to just duplicate this for manager last name. Say manager email. An email field here. And then we'll say PRO say writer I okay now we create a form this is going to be called artist intake form so maybe you just signed an artist and you're like all right to service you, know, you properly as your label we need all the information and we need it in a specific way please submit it here so we say this okay so art artist name and then we'll say the same thing we'll say as appears uh on spotify Maybe just let them know spelling is important. Submit as it appears on Spotify. And then we'll say performers first name. Say Performer's last name. Give me a second here. I don't like this at all because we already have first and last. So we are not going to use this. Take that out. We go back here. We're going to, sorry, yeah, performer's first name, performer's last name. Yep. Um, status. Nope. Do that. Nodes. Nope. Organizations. Nope. We're going to say email address. Performers email address. Then we'll say manager first name, manager last name, manager email. Um, Performers PRO, say performer writer. Okay, 
here we go. Got this form. Now this one we can send out to anybody and we'll just fill it in. So let's say the performer is Sean Carter. We'll say s.carter at gmail.com. Manager's first name is John Smith. We'll say John at smithmanagement.com. Performers PRO, let's say as cap, and the IPI number is made that up. Submit. All right. Boom. What did we miss? Artist name. Ah, I deleted that, didn't I? Artist name. And this is the one where you want to put it as it appears on Spotify. Put that back in the form. Uh, okay, as it appears, Spotify. And just to avoid going through the submission process again, we will put it in there and we'll call it JZ. Um, let's do another one because I'm going to show you the automation and I'll have, we'll have two, two pieces of two records of data to work with. Let's leave these, leave these. Let's open that form again. And now let's submit it for a artist who's not all, we know is not already in the base. So let's call this um, uh, share and performer's name, shares real name, Sherilyn Sarkeesy, Sherilyn Sherilyn, sorry, Cher, Sherilyn, Sarkeesian, is that right? Sarkeesian, and that's just share at share.com. Manager's name is Linda Johnson, Linda at johnsonmanagement.com performers pro in this case let's say it is bmi and the number is submit now we've got two new contacts with a bunch of info that came through a form but there's no nodes we don't know what they are we don't know what they're doing yes they told us their artist name but it's not linked to anything so Here's what we got to do. We go to automation. Boom. Set up our first automation. The trigger will be when record. Sorry, let's talk about automations for a second. Automations are meant to solve logic-based tasks that you have to do. So if something is true, then you do this. And the powerful thing about this is that we are doing this all day anyway. If it's Monday morning, we're sending out a couple dozen pitch emails. If budget gets approved, then we got to send a message out to everybody to alert them that they're good to go. If artist submits a release for a certain date it's got to be added to a bunch of spreadsheets or a bunch of bunch of displays people have to be notified whatever whatever and what airtable allows you to do is embed that logic 
into the system so that you don't have to think about it. And it allows you to free up some mental capacity, focus, and get more done with less resources, to be very honest. So here's an example. The trigger in this case, you got a whole bunch of triggers. We'll just keep it simple. We'll say when record matches conditions. We'll, let's, let's call this automation. Let's rename it and we'll call it create or assign performer. I'll, let's just say it when artist intake is submitted. Okay, so in the context table, how do we know artist intake is submitted when, in this case, artist name is not empty? Because the only way you're going to get an artist name in there is through that form. So that'll be the trigger. Um, and when artist name is not empty, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to try to find if that artist exists. And if they do, we will have that information. And if they don't, we'll create that record. So let's just, the first one we find records in the artist table based on a condition where that condition is the name of the artist is the artist name from the form. So let's test it out. So choose a record. There's going to be two, remember? Sean Carter and Cheryl Sarkeesy. So first let's try um, Cheryl Sarkeesy. Now that we test, let's, uh, now that we have the record, let's test this step, test it. You say no, because remember, share is not already in the record, in the base. So then we'll make another step here, and this will be conditional logic. And that will be if the find record step returns zero, then create a record in the artist table where the name is artist. Cool. Let's run that as configured. Well, first of all, um, we can test this logic. It's going to say that you're good, successful. And then let's run as configured. And there you go. Now watch. We go back to here, and now we've got share is an artist. Boom. All right. Now we're going to do the same thing for the artist manager information. So let's give this a little more description. We'll say find artist. And then let's also do another one. And we'll say another find. And this, this one's going to be called find contact. So let's find someone in the contacts table based on the condition where contact email is manager email. Right? Maybe we have that manager in there already. Maybe we don't. In this case, we don't. So let's test it. So it'll come up as a zero. Boom. Okay. So we're going to add another condition and the condition is going to be where find contact length is zero. Then we're going to create a contact, create record in the contacts table where we're going to want the first name. We're going to want the last name. We're going to want the email address. 
first name is going to be manager first name. last name is going to be manager last name and the email is going to be manager email so let's run it boom now we go back here real quick and you'll see in the contacts We've now got Smith. Something happened. Yeah, that's not what we wanted. We wanted. We want. All right. So let's delete that record. Come back, run it again. I'll see. We've got John Smith. Great. Now he's a contact. But so what? There's no nothing to indicate what John Smith does in all of this. There's nothing, there's nothing telling us what John Smith's role is in anything. So we now have to use within the same automation, create the node that links John Smith to I believe we're talking about Jay-Z here, John Smith. Yep, to Jay-Z as a manager. And we are going to do that right here. All right, add a step. Create record. And this time, we're creating a record in the nodes table. And the fields we're bringing in are artist, contact, and type artist. So let's start with the easy one. Type artist is going to be manager. Artist is going to be the artist from here. So, from right here, find artist, boom, contact, find co contact record was zero. So we'll use this one, we'll say our table record ID, boom, manager. Now run that. Now the node where John Smith Jay-Z's manager. We go back here on the artist table and we want to call in, insert to the right, manager we say look up nope insert to the right we say Roll up manager, and that is a roll up field. And that is a roll up field to the nodes table where type artist. Nope, we want to roll up the contact where 
type artist is exactly yeah. array join values boom John Smith and if we want to do the same thing for John Smith's email say manager email some contacts oops some contacts type artist say manager Boom. There we go. John Smith, John Smith Manager. So if we're in the artist table, and we want to display or otherwise use the information about who the manager contact is for this particular artist, boom, it's now there and it happens automatically. Now listen, there are a couple scenarios in here whereby we would need to further build out a couple more actions in order for them to run. But for the purpose of this demo, I think we've proved enough about how an artist intake form can be used to directly link somebody using this intake form. We'll do one more and then we'll call it for today. So let's go back to the intake form, open it up. Artist is the killer's performer's name is Brandon Flowers. Just check one thing. Yep. The killers do not have a manager yet, but you're about to see one. Let's make sure this automation is on. Let's finish filling this out. Former's email is brandon at thekillers.com. Manager's name is Edward Jackson, edjacks at gmail.com. PRO, in this case, we'll say BMI and then whatever. Submit. Bum, bum, bum. Go to automations, check it out, run history. See, it is running, just ran. Go back to data, go to the killers. Not only do we have a contact that has been created that says Edward Jackson in the contacts table with his right stuff, we have a node where Edward Jackson and the killers are linked together where he is the manager. We can go back to artist manager information is there Oof. that's a doozy it's your boy max industry automations let me know what you think in the comments don't like don't subscribe but use the link in the description to book a meeting if any of this is interesting and you think it can help your business thanks a lot